I have a portfolio submission in four days and there's a lot to do. Today begins my deadline week as a Masters of Architecture student. This submission is my design hypothesis portfolio that covers the first semester of my second year as a Masters student. The module is called Architectural Productions, which is a year-long module linking two portfolios, Design Hypothesis and Design Thesis, as a single integrated approach and process. These two projects are linked to encourage fluid and interlinked research investigation, design development and resolved architectural ideas. The Design Hypothesis portfolio is a maximum of 30 pages and should include a body of research into our relevant studio investigations. I studied the movement of tower cranes and abstracted them through drawings and models. We then went on a site visit to Antwerp, Belgium and began researching a relevant site for our resolved architectural ideas. I chose to look at the port in detail as I felt this would create a relevant string of research from the tower cranes through to movement of cranes on the port. By analysing the movement of container ships, port cranes and the broader logistics of Antwerp, I created a project narrative that would lead into the project programme. To visualise my work and where I wanted to go, I always get my thoughts onto tracing paper and get doodling. This frees my mind slightly to know what needs to be done and how to create a strong project narrative. These doodles are very quick, fast, and just pretty much just getting what's in my mind down into paper. And this just helps me also structure my portfolio and to know what types of drawings, what types of diagrams I want to include to help support the project narrative. Good morning, people. Today I need to make a plan because yesterday was not my most productive day. So this morning we're gonna set up a plan. We're gonna write pretty much a to-do list, a schedule of the week and what needs to get done. I have 21 pages of the portfolio done, complete. They're not gonna to be touched. And I want to aim for 28 pages, which means I've got seven pages left to do. This week, I'm going to plan in a page or two a day. So I'm making sure that I'm distributing it fairly evenly across the week and I'm not overloading myself with work. And I'm aiming to submit my portfolio in four days, so I need to plan accordingly. Therefore, I can allocate today for photo montage slash drawing of crane mechanics and Antwerp rail network map slash drawing. Tomorrow, it could be the research page into the potential program and program accommodation page. Thursday can be map slash drawing of chosen site. And Friday can be the final touches of the front cover contents page and also the final checks over all the other drawings. Today was a good productive day. We got both the drawings that we wanted to get done. Done, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. I think they've come out pretty well. Just to briefly show you how they're looking. So this drawing here shows the rail networks of Europe. So the basically the rail corridors, the freight corridors in Europe. Um, and this basically aims to show how central Belgium is. And then the other drawing that I did was this montage photo montage of the crane how they operate the different kind of components of a crane and what makes up a crane so that's two pages done out of the seven so we've got five to go i was contemplating sitting here and starting to do some research and kind of get into the next page that needs to be done for the portfolio however it's half past 11 i need to learn to just stop when it gets late at night and just go to bed get some sleep because i've literally been sat at this seat I don't know, since like nine o'clock this morning. So I need to go to bed. I need to, I just need to stop myself. I just need to do that. There we go, that was, that was easy. <laughs> when it's come to uni work today, I've just put it off, I've put it off, I've put it off. And now it's like nine o'clock at night and I've got to get some work done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push one of the pages that I was meant to get back done today, I'm gonna push it to tomorrow. Um, and today I've focused on research. So I've done some research. I've looked at algorithms, distribution centers, and now 
I've just had a beer. I'm sat watching the football. I'm being naughty. I shouldn't really be doing this. I should be getting on with the work. But one thing I did do today is a contents page. So I was sat there thinking, I've got to get something done. Let's just do a contents page. So this is the contents page. Fairly straightforward, self-explanatory. We've got the contents. And then I just included the map that was from the rail network drawing that I did. And I thought that just looks like a, quite a nice contents page. And it gives a bit of context to kind of it looks like some kind of network some logistics some kind of chain of some sort but yeah i'm going to try my best to get at least one page done tonight one of the pages that i said i'd get done um and then i'm going to do the other one tomorrow and tomorrow i'm in university all day so i've got a tutorial tomorrow i'm going to bring you guys in with me good morning people just before we dive into university and head into studio, I wanted to very briefly talk about finding inspiration for a portfolio submission. So often I tend to have a good idea of how I want to display drawings, diagrams and research into my portfolio, but sometimes I get a bit stuck in trying to visualize how I want to construct the drawings in a kind of final portfolio format. And in those instances where I'm struggling to visualize how I want to display my project narrative, I look out for some kind of inspiration. And obviously places like Instagram, Pinterest, and other architecture websites such as, I don't know, Design, Arc Daily, they're great places to look for sources of inspiration and tends to be some amazing drawings there that you can kind of look at. However, I personally like to look for a book or a magazine that I can pick up and that I can hold and look at drawings in detail. And so a great source of inspiration that I've just got my hands on is the Competitions to Archi Yearbook 2022. This not only has some great drawings and visualizations, but it also explains why their projects were successful. In this yearbook, there is an emphasis on understanding the design process behind all awarded submissions, which I have found really useful in constructing my own project narratives. To pick out some examples, the first place prize of the Rebuilding Siago competition, Our Tabo, has a powerful concept of people's values. The designers recognise the vital role local labour will play in this project, so the building is intended to be constructed quickly, logically, reinforcing regional construction techniques with minor additions that decrease its vulnerability to natural disasters. This project visualised these values successfully through its methods of communication, realistic visualisations and diagrams. This was intentional by the designers as they decided their creative process beforehand. They described that they relied on the skills of each of them and decided a visual message to be direct and very informative without using many types of representation. Another example is the winner of the Ghana Innovation Farm, the Innovation Farm. This competition tasked the entries to design a technological and cultural hub in one of the emerging African agricultural scenarios. The Innovation Farm aimed to take advantage of the modern opportunities of steel to create a sustainable and efficient building without losing their sight of the local Ashanti culture. The roof geometry is a key feature that responds to the landscape slope. This project has some really simple diagrams and visuals that are extremely powerful in describing their project narrative. The designers have beautiful working drawings and sketches highlighting the design decisions made. In explaining how they won their project, they detail their teamwork, context and cultural response, time management and graphical expression. I am actually going to be giving this exact book away to one of you guys watching this video right now. In order for you to win this book, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, which is Thomas Rountree, like this video and comment down below winner. And we'll soon find out if one of you guys is a winner of this competition to Archie Yearbook 2022. I think this is a great source of information for architecture students. There's some absolutely unbelievable work in here. So get your hands on one of these people, I highly advise you. So it's important to note at this point, no one's got any resolved architectural projects. First semester is predominantly research-based. We're researching our studio investigations and putting together a portfolio that could lead into a project program. So a lot of people's work currently is research into the site, research into potential programs, but no programs are fully fleshed out yet. Pencils like balance, but I can feed this through, sure. I can just move back <laughs> Let's 
Если да. это... Take one. Nice. Capturing the movement. <laughs> I didn't even realise I'm literally sat in the pitch black apart from looking at the screen, which is probably not good for my eyes. But we've had, actually, today's turned out to be fairly productive. At university, I always find it hard to sit and do work in studio just because I get distracted. I end up sitting having conversations. I look at what everyone else is doing and I kind of get distracted from what I'm meant to be doing. So that's probably the reason why in most of my videos you see me sat here at my desk because personally for me it just works better. So this evening has been much more productive than it was during the day at university. Um, so we've got two pages, we've got three pages done actually this evening which I'll show you in a minute. So I'll just pop them up on the screen just because it's easy for you guys to see. Um, so this page I did this morning, uh, so this is basically just talking through some perishable goods, cold storage and distribution, and Akedo being a really good precedent. I did this visualisation, which I think is probably one, one of my weakest pages of my portfolio, um, but the aim is just to show the kind of process and the thinking behind the programme. I then did this visual to show... Um, basically my chosen site so I've actually decided to design something on the port and it's going to be this kind of tourist destination uh, where you can obviously come for a wholesale market you can come eat at a restaurant and you also get views over uh, the port because one thing we did notice is that when you're in the city of Antwerp you're very much disconnected from the port due to safety reasons um, obviously accessibility reasons and so the point was is to bring the people of Antwerp into the port um, so they kind of can experience the port in some way and be part of that logistics process. And then this diagram here, which I think is the worst diagram that I've done, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go with it because at this point I'm just getting fed up and I want it to get it submitted. This basically just shows potentially the scale of these spaces in relation to one another. So obviously you might have a big distribution center, a slightly smaller wholesale market, a slightly smaller restaurant, and then a slightly smaller viewing gallery slash education space that's going to be educating people on the logistics proce process um, and the logistic network in Antwerp and that is literally everything done apart from the front cover which is exciting so I can tick those off the list now happy days which means tonight I can shut my laptop once again and tomorrow all I have to do is finish the front cover do the final checks and then submit which is exciting. Today's a beautiful day because today is the day that the portfolio gets submitted. I am literally a front cover away from submitting this portfolio and then it's done, out of the way, out of mind forever until the next portfolio submission comes around. So let's smash out a front cover very quickly, get this thing exported and get it submitted. Just, just no point messing around. <laughs> done it's done it's sent it's complete j'ai fini it's done until the next portfolio make sure you subscribe people if you want to see more content throughout the next year and i'll see you next time Peace.